Now we've got the king of all Belgian Dark Strongs, <clears throat> in my humble opinion, or one of the many. Um, Rochefort, 10. Can't go wrong with the stuff. 11.3%. Um, Rochefort beer, Roquefort cheese. I've got to visit Roquefort one day. Or oh, how the fuck you pronounce it. Slightly darker again, 11.3%. Oh man, super rich on the nose. Like really rich melanoidins. It's very sort of similar again, but really, really rich. You got that dark, dark fruits, plums, prunes, raisins. You can probably see the color difference. It's almost the same color as my shirt, which is Roman Reason Brewing Company in New Zealand. If you're in New Zealand, get over and say good day to Jess and Cy. <clears throat> but advertising aside, Oh, wow. You get the yeast in there. So much like rich melanoidins in there. Plums, prunes, raisins in the background. You got chocolate. Um, heaps of caramel and toffee. Again, I'll get that sort of like light lolly banana almost in the background, but it's certainly not dominant. You get that bready yeast character in there and a slight spiciness. Alcohol, extremely well hidden. You got mild alcohol warming. Carbonation again, high but not as high as it was with the ape. Sweet malt up front, medium full body, nice dry finish. Like it finishes really dry for the amount of malt that's in this beer. Um, I think the alcohol helps. Medium low bitterness, oh probably medium bitterness. It's, this beer is spectacular. The reason, like, and that's probably the reason it is one of the classic beers of the world. If you've never tried Rochefort 10, you really need to do yourself a favor. It's saucer bottle.